Hi everyone, this is the York School Student Feedback Form tutorial. In this tutorial we will cover how to create a student feedback form survey from a template. Every year David asks that the senior school teachers take some time to survey the students as to how the year went, to improve for next year, get some feedback from them, and allow for everyone to gain insights from the students on how they can make their courses better. So, to that end, here we go. What you're looking at is the template gallery. This is an area of Google Drive that allows us to create documents, forms, and give everyone access to them so they can make their own copy. This particular one here, found in the professional growth plan category down here, allows us to get a copy of the York School student feedback form. This is last year's form and uh, we will be using it today. So in order to get to the gallery, well, I'm gonna send you a link uh, directly in an email today, but if you're just looking for it and can't find the email, all you need to do is open up a Google Doc. Any Google Doc will do, and in that document, you're going to go to the File menu, go New, and you'll see down below here, it says From Template. This is the only way to find the template gallery um, by accessing any Google Doc. I'm going to File, New, and From Template. Once we open that From Template option, you'll come to the template gallery. And if you notice down below, we've created some categories. One science templates, the other one is the professional growth plan. So here, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click on the Use This Template from the York School Student Feedback Form. When I do that, it's going to grab its own unique copy of that template and bring it in. So, a few things to know about Google Forms. Well, a form is both a survey and a spreadsheet. The survey is what the students see and fill in, and the spreadsheet is where all that data is kept. Using the template gallery, you get given the spreadsheet, but the spreadsheet also contains the form. So, to that end, we have both in one. But we need to be careful here, because if we're going to make one of these for each of our classes, then we need to um, be sure to label them appropriately as we create them. So the first thing I recommend doing is changing the name of the document. So if this was you know, 9C Science, then I might call this 9C Science Student Feedback Survey. And then maybe June 2014. Something to help me keep track. I'm then going to copy this just because I'm going to use it in a second. So the first thing we do is rename the, the form, the spreadsheet. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to folder this now. And Google has introduced this nice folder up here, which is really handy in helping uh, organize documents right away. So I'm going to move it to a folder. And right now I'm going to create a new folder called Feedback or maybe student feedback, and maybe June 2014. Maybe I can put this in a bigger folder called student feedback forms later on, but this gives me a way to organize it. So I'm going to create that folder, and then I'm going to move that form inside there. Okay, so remember this is the spreadsheet, and the form is something else. So how do I access the form, the survey that the kids see? Well, I need to go up here to Form, and I need to edit the form. So this will allow me to make some changes to the form. So let's do that now. So in the spreadsheet, Edit Form. Again, the first thing I'm going to do once I get into this form is rename it. So I'm going to hit 9. I've already copied this, so I'm going to paste that again so it has the same name. And then the next thing I do is I'm going to folder that and make sure it goes in that same folder. Remember, the form and the spreadsheet are two different things. One feeds the other, but they're important that they both get organized and put in a folder. So remember that folder up here will show you now, if I click on it, where exactly that feedback, this particular form, is, is located. 
So here, I need to now edit this particular form. So the student feedback form, again, I can probably cut and paste that. This just helps me organize it and lets the kids know that they're interacting with the right form. And then you have the ability to edit this text. So here, you've got the units that were uh, used, and then you can fill that in. Maybe you just want to do unit three or four, whatever unit you just ended. Uh, you can add, you're not meant, really meant to change too much of the text. And then you've got the ability to edit some of this. So which of the following units of the course did you enjoy most? Now that they have a time to think about it. Go through, edit any of these fields by just clicking on them. When you're done, click done and move through the form until you're satisfied it reflects all the things that you want to ask. I don't think you need to add anything but just read through it. Okay so now that we're done we can send this form immediately by putting in email addresses here. If you've already made class lists you can do that here. If you haven't then I suggest you open up an inbox, you open up your inbox and then make an address list just by using the compose feature and then copy and paste that in. So if I had some students here, 9C ICE students, maybe I could add that or if I had already a list of students I could put those in here. So here are some students and now I can select these guys and copy them and then go back to the form and paste them in here if I wanted to. Another way to go about this is to not use the send form at all, but rather go to the um, view live form. So this is now the live form as the kids would see it and then take this link, this URL, which is unique only to this form, and then throw that in a Blackboard announcement or throw that in a Blackboard item. That might be the easier way because all the kids will be there and will be in your course. So those are the two ways you can do it. The first way allow, show, throws the form right into the, the body text of the email. The second way is maybe a little bit easier because you don't have to do any emailing. You just say every, tell everyone it's in Blackboard. If I go to Google Drive now and I take a look at that folder I made, you'll notice that inside it, student feedback form, you'll see that I have two documents in here. Notice they're a little bit different. Over here, the one that looks like a grid, well that's the actual spreadsheet. And this one that looks like a survey is actually the actual form, and these things work together. And they, um, they kind of um, work in conjunction with one another. So those are the two forms that you, you need. This is what gets sent to the kids. This is where the data is kept. So hopefully that is helpful in um, showing you how to dole these out and how to make these. And by organizing them in folders and naming each of them, It'll really help you keep track of them. And you can basically do that right before you have the kids or do them do it right when they're in class. It doesn't take very long to, to create one and you kind of get the hang of it as you create them. If you need any help, please don't hesitate to call myself, Tim, or David, and we can help you with the process. Thank you.